Good day everyone. So welcome to our part 2 sa ating solving rational equation. So I hope uh, bago kayo manood sa video na ito ay napanood niyo na yung part 1 sa ating solving rational equation. Okay? So please uh, watch kayo noon and then subscribe sa aking channel and hit like button. Okay? So now, let us proceed by using the cross multiplication property of proportion. So, i-explain ko sa inyo, di ba, sa ating grade 5, di ba, pinag-aralan natin yung ating ratio and proportion. So, ano nga ba yung ratio at proportion? So, pag sinabi natin ratio, this is in a form of a fraction. Okay? Ka kasi nga, this is the ratio of A to B. Okay? And then, kapag nag-equate tayo ng dalawang ratio, we call that as proportion. So, itong dalawa. Such that A over B or A is to B is equal to C over D or C is to D. Diba? Sa ratio and proportion natin. And then, uh, we are taught sa ating grade 5, sa previous lessons natin sa ating math, that this ratio and proportion can be solved using cross multiplication. Okay? So, we cross multiply and then, what can you observe sa ating, sa ating equation? This is composed of a single term. Okay? This single term yung sa left side, single term then yung sa right side. That's the time na pwede tayong mag-cross multiplication. So, A times D, that is AD. B times C, we have BC. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, I will deduce. Let us try to deduce kung paano nga ba let us check kung tama yung cross multiplication natin using the LCD. Okay? Imamato ba yung natin sa LCD? Kagaya ng ginawa ko, ginawa natin sa previous discussion natin sa pag-solve ng rational equation. So, A over B, we are going to prove is equal to C over T. Okay? Such that B must not be equal to 0, yung restriction natin. And D must not also be equal to 0. Okay, so we get the LCD. What is the, what is the LCD? The LCD is B times D. So we are going to multiply, multiply A over B. Yeah. Doon sa ating LCD na BD is equal to C over D. Yeah. Multiplied by BD. Okay, yung ating LCD. So, cancel natin. Ano yung kakancel natin sa kabila? B. So, matitira is AD. A times D. Is equal to, so cancel natin yung D dito. <coughs> matitira is CD. So, anong na-observe you guys? Therefore, we arrive on the same answer. AD is equal to BC. Therefore, we can use cross multiplication okay, sa ating rational equation that involves a single term na equations. So, ayan. So, AD is equal to C over B. So, let us try to solve. Okay, gamitin natin yung property na ito sa ating mga examples. Okay? Okay, so let us proceed to our example number one. Okay, so 3 over 3x minus 2 is equal to 4 over 2x plus 2. So, ngayon, since na-observe natin, uh, isang term lang itong nasa left and isang term lang yung nasa right. So, we are going to use cross multiplication property. Okay, sa ating equation. So, first, paren, ano yung ating restriction? So, bawal maging 0 yung denominator. Therefore, 3x minus 2. So, bawal maging yung x mo, 2 over 3. Okay? So, bawal siya maging 2 over 3. Sa so, kabila naman, 2x plus 1, transpose mo yung 1, okay, bawal siya maging negative 1 half. Kasi magsisiro yung denominator. So, upon checking kung ano yung restriction, you can now proceed to cross multiplication. Para mas madali, cross multiply natin. Okay. So, this is 3 times 2x plus 1. Okay po. And then, ito naman for 
is equal to 4 times 3x minus 2. Ayan po. So, di ba? So, what can you observe? Uh, compared sa atin, sa pag-solve natin ng uh, matubay by LCD, naka-omit tayo ng dalawa, halos dalawang step. Okay? By cross multiplication. So, na naging agad siya, no? so nawala agad yung denominator mo. Okay po? After, you can now distribute. Para ma-simplify yung ating equation. 3 times 2x, we have 6x plus 3 times 1, that is 3, is equal to, distribute again, yung 4. 4 times 3x, we have 12x. Okay? 4 times negative 2, we have negative 8. We can now combine like terms. So, 12x taka 6x. So, since dito yung 12x, baba na lang natin siya. And then yung 6x dito, ang transpose natin sa kabila, this becomes negative 6x. Okay po? Then yung 3 dito, yung 3 naman dito, ibaba lang natin. And we transpose this negative 8 sa kabila, we have positive 8. So, combine again, 12x times 12x minus 6x, we have 6x. 3 plus 8, ilan? 11. Right? 11. Then, yung x mo, divide both sides by 6. x is equal to 11 over 6. So, since wala siya sa restriction, Therefore, 11 over x, 11 over 6 rather, is a solution. Okay? 11 over x is a solution. So, don't forget the steps. Okay? And then afterwards, upon checking, you need to check your solutions on every step. Okay? Kagaya nito. So, bago ka mag-proceed, kasi that will be a domino effect, check mo na agad kung may nang ka sa sign, nagkamali ka sa sign, and then, you can do also checking by supplying the values of x doon sa ating main equation, original equation, to check kung magsusupays nga talaga yung dalawang equation. So, okay, so example number 2. 4 over 2x minus 3 minus 7 over 3x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, ngayon, uh, di ba, dapat gamitin natin yung cross multiplication. So, dito, nakita mo, magkatabi yung dalawang term. Yung dalawang rational expression mo. So, naka-equate sa zero. Ngayon, pwede mo ngayon ilipat itong isa doon sa right side. Okay? Pwede mo siyang ilipat. So, magiging na siyang 4 over 2x minus 3 is equal to, since negative ito, nilipat mo doon sa kabila, magiging na siya positive. So, hindi na natin isusulat. 7 over 3x minus 5. Yan. So, parehas na lang, may isang term sa left side, isang term sa right hand side natin. Okay? So, dahil isang term, we can use cross multiplication. Yan, di ba? Mas madali na siya. So, 4 times 3x minus 5 is equal to 7 times 2x minus 3. Ayan po. So, wala nang denominator. We can now simplify by distribute, distribute natin ito. 4 times 3x, we have 12x. 4 times negative 5, we have negative 20. Equals. Kamila naman. 7 times 2x, we have 14x. 
7 times negative 3, so careful tayo sa mga sign, we have negative 21. So we combine like terms, so lipat natin yung 2x, 12x dito sa kabilang side, we have 14x, then lipat negative 12x. Ayan. So dito naman, sa kabila, copy natin yung negative 20 dito, and then we transpose negative 21 sa kabilang side, that becomes positive 21. So we can now combine negative 20 plus 21, that is 1, is, di ba 1, so dito siya 1, is equal to 14x minus 12x, the answer is 2x. So, get the value of x, divide both sides by 2. Therefore, x is equal to 1 half. Okay, x is equal to 1 half. This is a solution. Because, this is a solution because, wala siya doon sa restrictions mo. Therefore, x is equal to 1 half is a solution. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope na panoorin nyo yung nakapanood nito, hindi pa nakapanood ng part 1. Balikan nyo po yung part 1 para at least mas maliw nawan kayo dito sa ating rational equation. So, thank you so much for watching and I hope na may natutulan kayong panibagong lesson kay Sir. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.